guys and welcome to my channel my name is Dr. Rocker and today we will do another comic book drawing but not just any comic book drawing a big comic book drawing a really big comic book drawing usually I work on drawings with 11 by 17 inches like this one or sometimes just 11 by 14 inches like the one in the background but not today today we will use a really big paper 20 by 24 inches let me show you that's pretty big what a beauty this is and this one is actually two inches bigger than I just told you but I have to get rid of them because otherwise it won't fit in the frame I have for it Okay, so we're all set. I got my pencil, I got my big piece of paper. And what I want to do now is to draw one comic book hero, but really big. And if you're new to the channel, please don't forget to subscribe and turn on the post notifications so you won't miss out on any of my future videos. But now, let's draw! To the Batmobile! This could be the break we've been looking for! Okay guys, I managed to sketch out the Batman, really huge. It's quite difficult to do a sketch like this big because you are used to a certain size and to all the proportions and that's just another level, but I think it's good enough. I will have to use a lot of ink for this one. That's going to be interesting. But before we can start the inking process, I need to make dinner. So let's do that first. That was delicious! Now I will use this Tombow brush pen here to trace all the most important lines. And I will also do the line weight right away. So, let's go! As it is easy to be seen in the background because this piece is so huge I already did the line weight all the outlines and now I will do all the strong blacks and I will not just use my pencil brush pen I will use it for sure but I will also use a real brush and some Indian ink because there will be a lot of strong blacks on this one so let's fetch some ink Okay, so let's see how this paper likes to sink. A lot of strong blacks. This is actually really big. 
I had to use two layers of black, but that way they are really smooth, the strong backs. And therefore it's really nice and satisfying to look at. And with my Tombow pen right here, I will make sure to bring this piece to life. But all the rendering I will do tomorrow because it's pretty late, so good night for now. Good morning people! Night's over, I had some breakfast, now it's time to render this thing. So let's do some really big rendering lines. Let's go! And I guess I'm done with this freaking huge piece of comic book drawing. This was quite some work, but also quite the experience. But it really takes some time to draw this large. So let's frame it. I'm sorry dude, you'll have to go. The last season was just bull****. This is nice, nice and big. So I guess from now on, Batman will be hanging out with me quite a lot. <laughs> but not just me, he's got great company. There's Wolverine and also Superman from my how to use shadows and comic book drawings video. And also there's the first drawing I did for YouTube, Harry Potter piece. And also a Jim Lee special where I drew Superman in Jim Lee style and also a bunch of Dr. Rocker stuff around him. But not just YouTube stuff, there's also Kaiser Franz I drew some years ago and some tattoo stuff. My Dragon Ball vs Hulk drawing, quite old video. So I guess he will be just fine right there. And since Batman is hanging out with his buddy Superman right here, I want you to check out this video right now. It's where I drew this one and it's called How to draw shadows in a comic book drawing. Very good explained video I dare say. So see you on that one friends. <laughs>